What's up, everyone? What's up, what's up? So, let me go ahead and tell you what's about to happen today. I got my girl, Susie Zimmerman. You know who she is. I'm kind of at that point where I'm just like, do I really need to introduce her? I'm like, no, everybody knows who Sue B. Zimmerman is. And if you don't know, then yes, I'll let you know. So let me go ahead and um, mute something real quick. All right. If you guys are here, by all means, feel free to go ahead and leave a comment. Tell us where you're watching from. Give us some hearts. Give us some likes. I got my girl here. Sue, I've been trying to track you down all day today. <laughs> Yeah, I had a cray cray day. It was a it, it was a very busy Friday for me. Do you want to hear the details? Oh, not yet, not yet, <laughs> not yet. Let me see who's here. All right, we've got Victor Nunez, Gabriel Garcia, all already here to hear about how they could use Instagram Stories for their business. So of course, let me introduce Subi Zimmerman. I'm kind of freaking out right now. I, I'm 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 like starstruck right now I've, I've followed you since the first time you even spoke at social media marketing world and you've ah. just been killing it and you've been crushing it I just like gosh how do I get on this woman's radar and whoa, here she is <laughs> all right for those of you who don't know Subi Zimmerman is also known as the Instagram gal and she teaches everyone about how to use Instagram for their business I personally in my mind I like to call you the grandmaster <laughs> grandmaster Sue and she teaches everyone how to use Instagram. Um, she also manages the best-selling author, Michael Port, his Instagram account, right? That was a long time ago. A long time ago? Okay. Yeah, not anymore. All right, and you, have anymore, a, but... and you have a bunch of Instagram courses that are out there too, right? Yeah, we do. We Well, not a bunch. We have, um, I've done a lot of courses, but the one that is our flagship course that's doing great is called Ready, Set, Gram. That's the one that you want to know about. Let's talk about that. Well, actually, go ahead and fill in the blanks because I did the best that I possibly could with your bio, but I know that you're doing a million and one things. So, oh, yeah. Let's yeah, do no it. problem. So, yeah, so I've been a passionate entrepreneur my whole life. I actually had my first business when I was just 13, um, and I've had 18. So, you probably don't know that, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so, before I became the Grandmaster, oh my God, I the have to get a Grandmaster. I love that. The Grandmaster. I need a new sign, a new hashtag sign now. Um, but before I became the Grandmaster, I w had a retail store on Cape Cod selling clothing, jewelry, and accessories. And because I had so much success using Instagram to grow my business there, 40% in one summer, I then decided to teach other business owners globally. It ended up being globally very quickly. Wow. How to use it. How to use it. And, and you know, I knew nothing about this online space uh, four and a half years ago. I knew, like, I was, I, I was a teacher at heart. I used to teach art classes. I used to teach scrapbooking. I oh, my goodness. I remember you saying that at Social Media Marketing World. I was like, I used to scrapbook. We have things yeah. in common. Yeah. Yeah. And I, yeah, I, I was on QVC a couple times scrapbooking. It what? was a big deal. Yeah. Damn. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I, um, yeah, I was on QVC eight years ago teaching scrapbookers how to embellish their photos. And so it's really ironic that now I get to teach a global audience how to use Instagram and all the third party apps to basically embellish your digital photos. Oh, that's so, so funny. Emojis yeah, I love, and all that. I, yeah, I love the full circle of what I'm doing. Um, and because if, you know, if you were to ask me what my favorite thing is that I do every day when I wake up, it's teaching. It's teaching small business owners, solopreneurs, entrepreneurs, medium-sized businesses. It's teaching on stage where you saw me at Creative Live or doing intimate workshops. But there's something about the power of teaching and helping other people ha like wake up to a aha moment in their business. And so I get so much energy and charge out of doing that every day. So whether it's on Instagram in my feed or in an Instagram story, as you will see right now, if anyone clicks in and looks at what I'm doing on the mm -hmm. Instagram expert. And then there's a whole nother layer that we'll probably talk about, which is teaching on Instagram lives. Yes, exactly. There's so much that you could do with Instagram. Um, it's banana. So I'm like, I'm a student. I, I want to learn from Grandmaster Sue. So where do you want to take us? Because we've got Vivian, Bonnie, Cindy, Victor, Gabriel that all want to hear from you. Awesome. Yeah. So if anyone that's tuning in, make sure you share this out and please ask those questions in the comments because I love answering questions and you have my undivided live attention. And this is the benefit of showing up 
live exactly. on a Facebook Live. So yeah, when when Stephanie, when you get the notification that she's live, get on the fucking broadcast because you know there's <laughs> yes. gonna be good shit Ooh, going down. High five, girl. Mm. Good, good shit. Yeah. So <laughs> especially on a Friday night, come on, you guys, come hang and party with us. Um, and by the way, I look like a total Instagram unicorn today. Can I just show you guys? Like I've got. I've got like rainbow on the top, rainbow on the bottom going on. I love it. It was funny because I was like, oh my goodness, I think there's a little splash of green. Like, I think my green screen might like wash you out, but you look good. You look good, yeah. girl. It's like, thank you, Lily, and thank you, Lululemon, two of my favorite Instagram accounts. Mm. Um, so, I think most people like hearing about Instagram stories, but we certainly can talk about Instagram because most people are challenged with their Instagram success. Success meaning attracting real people and not spam bots and assholes. Success means driving traffic to your opt-in, website, YouTube channel, or success means actually making money on Instagram So or growing a community. So mm -hmm. we can go down any of those avenues. Um, I love talking about Instagram stories because I used to be on Periscope pretty much every day. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I had 22,000 followers on Periscope and I'm not there anymore because of Instagram stories. And I used to be on Snapchat and I was getting over 500 um, views per snap, which I thought was pretty good given, you know, that my demographics usually is I not mean, there. Okay, like not too shabby, not too shabby. I hear you. Not All right. <laughs> but, 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 but now, Stephanie, I'm getting upwards to 2,000 views per clip on Instagram stories. So people are watching, they're watching and they're learning. And so I have a knack for being super creative. You heard me say, I love teaching. I taught art. Mm -hmm. I love scrapbooking. Okay. So let's just talk about the writing tools and the stickers. OMG. <laughs> I can get super creative every day. And it's like my creative outlet. Um, I love coloring and drawing, but every day I get to do something fun in Instagram stories. But there's a strategy behind every single thing I do in my business every day. Mm -hmm. So I want people to know that I'm not here for kicks and giggles and having fun coloring. Yeah. Um, so whatever, whatever path you want to go down, I'm all yours, girlfriend. My husband's riding his bike in the city. My dog's sleeping right here. Okay. We're all good. Well, let's talk about Instagram stories because I have clients um, who are deathly afraid of being in front of the video or being in front of the camera. And I'm just like, you have to do Instagram stories because that's one of the best ways to get the attention in the actual Instagram news feed. So how do you actually get people over that limiting belief of, I'm, I'm too scared to be in front of the camera. Yeah, I love that you said that. Before I answer, let's just uh, go down the path of what you said so that you get found in the Instagram newsfeed. So if you're not doing stories, you're not going to be found. So you have the opportunity to show up in the Explore tab. If you tap the Explore tab, which is the magnifying glass, mm -hmm. and you look there, that is what Instagram is suggesting that you check out based on your activity. So let's start here because this is really important, Stephanie. Yep. So devil tapping and liking random ass photos to be nice is not actually good for you and your business. That, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine to do on your personal account. But if you're here for business, you should be engaging with and commenting on and saving OMG and a whole nother new update to a category. Um, the photos and the videos that actually um, are the ones that you want to see more of because your actions on Instagram dictates from the new algorithm what Instagram pushes out to you, okay? Yeah. So when you tap on that Explore tab, there are three layers. They're showing you photos that you might enjoy seeing. They're showing you videos that you might want to watch. I see a, they always suggest like cake decorating or cupcake decorating for me because I just love watching can, uh, cupcake, like them being decorated. So I see a lot of that. But in the Instagram stories, it's based on your activity of who they're suggesting that you see. So I make it a point every day, every day, every day. Show, okay. So like make show, this a daily habit, you guys. To show up with a rainbow ring around my face. I want a rainbow ring because I want you to know that there's something extra. There's something exclusive that I do not share anywhere else, period. And that's what everyone needs to write down. Take out your notebook. It should look like a rainbow. And write down that you will do an Instagram story and 
you will share something that is exclusive and it can't be boring. So we can talk about all the things to do to set yourself up for success, but first let's address the whole video problem. Yeah. Okay. So maybe you have gray hair and I do have a couple, or maybe you have wrinkles. I got those too. Or maybe you feel like your teeth are crooked and no one's going to want to look at you. Get over it. It's your content and the way that you deliver it. Yes. As- can that you say that I, one more time? Because I feel like I say that to everyone. And they're like, no, 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 no. Like, I need to, like, do all this stuff. And I'm just like, stop. No, no. I mean, yes, I go and get a blowout when I'm going to be doing a Facebook ad video. And I'm kind of obsessed with the dry bar. But I'm usually in sweatpants. And, you know, I'm usually in my Lulu tops. And I just put on this nice, fun sweatshirt because of the interview. <laughs> but um, you look at the you, – you hold your phone – and you look at that camera like you're talking to your customer, the person yes. that you want to be do, doing business with. And just think of one person. Do not think of the 700 million potential users on Instagram. And you just talk, but you've got to be a little bit funny and entertaining. You cannot be a talking head that's boring. I'm sorry if you don't have, if you do not have a personality that is somewhat alive where you smile and you're kind of like frumpy and well, yeah. no one's going to, no one's going to watch you. No grumpy cat on your Instagram stories basically, right? Right. You have to smile because when you smile, people feel happy or maybe even giggle a little bit. Mr. Cody's back there. Can you see him? He wants to go out. No, I don't see him. But if you need to let him out, go and let him out. Uh, I'm just taking I- a look at the comments. Okay, good. So Mr. Cody wants to go out. I might have to let him out or he's going to annoy me. But yeah. the, the, the truth is you have to have personality when you're doing your stories. Mm-hmm. Let me let Cody out of my office and into the it. other part of the room, and I'll be right back, and we'll, ta- we'll talk more about this. Hold on. Absolutely. So, hey, you guys. If you're just joining, if you haven't noticed yet, I actually have Subi Zimmerman here on Lights, Camera, Live, and we're talking about how you can use Instagram stories to build your brand and your business. So if you – are a huge fan of Subi Zimmerman and you've always wanted to ask her questions, now is the time to jump in and ask the questions. So we've got the comments going. Bev is here. Katarina's here. Caroline just joined. And Sue is now back from letting letting her get out. <laughs> Let No, Mr. Cody, everyone knows who Cody's this. He's in my Instagram stories every day. Um, if you have a cute dog, put him in the stories or a cat. Mm-hmm. All good. All right. Um, yeah, go ahead, Steph. I'm listening to you. Okay. So we were talking about, well, I, I really love the advice of when you're talking to the camera, you're, you act as if you're talking to one person and you're really trying to connect with them. One of the things that, that I think people have trouble with is when they're doing the Instagram stories, they're looking at themselves versus the camera, right? Right. What other right. tips you, do you have? Like what, what should they talk yeah. about in their Instagram stories too? Okay. Before we go over what to talk about, let's talk about techniques, okay? Mm. So I like to entertain, as you probably have seen, and I like the hands-free feature, which is when you slide it all the way to the right, you can do hands-free, and you can just put your, I don't know if you have one of these, this is the coolest thing, I have this little poppy thing that pulls out, and I can put my phone on anything. Let me see, wait, hold it up. It's a popper. Oh, that's cool. So I can hold my phone like that, but I also could put it on, I got this at paper source. Um, I could also put it on something to, to just. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So when I, when I don't have my Archon mount, which is what I suggest everyone get is an Archon mount. I love Archon mount and I can give a code out, Steph, uh, for 20% off of the the mounts. I only use Archon mount. I'll give you that in a second. Mm -hmm. But, um. I like using the hands-free feature, and you'll see if you watch my Instagram stories right now on the Instagram expert, I did a hands-free so that I could just hold up my hands, especially when you have nail polish on, or if you're demonstrating something, you're baking something, you're making something, and you need your hands, you just press the hand, you know, you press the video in the hands-free, and then a rainbow goes around until the 15 seconds are up, and I like doing all of my videos in the hands-free mode because I like to know how many seconds I have left when I'm talking. Yeah. And it's really it's really helped me condition to finish up my thought if I want to do it in one take. So walking into a frame or 
out of a frame from a different angle is really intriguing. It's kind of like someone's right next to you and they're following you. And that's what you want. You want people to feel like they're literally where you are. And so because I do live in this beautiful city called Boston, I have a lot of eye candy in and around downtown Boston at the park. So I have a lot of eye candy where I can do these cool angles with buildings and flowers and dogs and shopping and whatever you want. Mm -hmm. But um, and when I'm at my house on the Cape, the same is true with the water and the beach. So I've got all the visuals around me and people like to come with you. And so whether you're taking the phone and you're doing an angle high to low or low to high, that's interesting. Angles are interesting. Filters are interesting. Now there's seven different filters that you can use in your Instagram stories. And here's one of my little ninja tips. So when I use Instagram stories, I only use three of the writing tool colors, three. That's right, okay, go over this. Cause when I when I heard this at Social Media Market, I was like, that is brilliant and everyone else needs to hear this. So if you guys are just tuning in yeah. right now, this is the part that you definitely wanna pay attention to. Because there's 27 colors on in Instagram stories. When you open up Instagram stories, you see nine of them, but if you swipe to the right, you see the earth tones. And if you swipe to the right, right again, you see the blacks and whites. But if you tap on any color, you see the whole rainbow spectrum. And everyone's like, what? I didn't know I could get any color. Yeah, your hex color is there. And and mark my word, I think we'll be able to save our hex colors in time. Mm. But, but I only use three colors. I use magenta, I use blue, and I use purple. Why? Because they're colors in the Instagram logo. Why? I always want to look and feel like the Instagram logo. So I want people to think of me when they think of Instagram. Of and course, it's yeah. And it's working. So also by just picking your brand colors, you don't have to think about now what color do I write with? It's like one less thing to think about. It's like the less clothes that you have in your closet, you know, it's sometimes easier to get dressed in the morning. So I do that for the writing colors and the highlighter, I only use one color for highlighter, which is magenta. Um, on the far left of the Instagram stories, there is a um, tool that you can make it thicker or thinner, the writing tool, which is super fun. Um, Steph, I also have subizimmerman.com slash stories with an S class. I have a stories class for under 20 bucks for anyone that wants to know all these nuances and detail. Oh, absolutely. I'll definitely make sure to put that in the show notes. But if anyone's listening right now, if you could type that in the comments for me, because I can't while, when I'm doing OBS, that would be amazing. So what was the, yeah. the URL? I'm going to grab it. I'm going to do it for you because I, okay. I can I can multitask like a ninja. Oh, you're the best. All right. Um, Allison is here. She says that you are insta awesome. Sue's here. She says it makes so much sense to keep Instagram stories aligning with your brand colors, right? It's one of those things you're like, duh, of course you want to do that. And Aris exactly. Shaw is here as well. Oh, good. All my friends are here. So fun. Um, so those are the writing tools that I suggest. Um, some of the tricks. Oh, the other one I wanted to mention to everyone here on live. And thanks so much for joining us live. You guys get the prize for showing up live on a Friday night. It's fun, right? Seriously. That's fun. Isn't this where you want to be? This is so much better than hanging out at a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the other thing I do is I, whenever I want someone to listen up to what I'm saying, because I've got words of wisdom, you know, mm -hmm. I make the screen black and white. I use a filter and I write the words, listen up, because when you are in an Instagram story, you can actually, you actually can watch it without listening to any of the volume. So if you want to hear the story, you have to turn up the volume, at least on the iPhone. I don't know what the dealio is on the Android. Yeah. So, so I purposely, again, let's go back to intention. Everything I do is with great intention. I'm always thinking about strategy and intention. So I want people to think when they see the black and white, oh my gosh, Sue has something she's teaching, turn up the volume. Yeah. And that's, that's what I'm conditioning my followers to take note of. The other thing that you wanna pay attention to when you start doing Instagram stories is who's watching your whole story? Because if no one's watching your whole story, you need to take a little reality check and see where they're dropping off. Yes, very and true. Where, and where they're dropping off, maybe it's the way you're doing what you're doing. And stories are, you know, it's okay if you're camera shy to do graphics. I do a lot of graphics and text 
in a branded way. But the truth is, people want to see the video clips more than anything. That's the life of Instagram stories, in my opinion. Very true. I agree with you. What about um, <clears throat> what about Instagram Live? What are your thoughts on that? Are you using that strategically? Oh, everything I do is strategically. And yes, so um, I, I don't go live frequently on Instagram Live like I used to on Periscope, but I went live on Wednesday after we released our blog post. Stephanie, I'm gonna walk through why we do what we do and the business strategy behind it, okay? Absolutely, please. Okay, I'm all ears. (laughs) Okay, so we launch a blog once a week. And our blog is our content that drives, that that builds that likability and uh, just authority in the space of teaching Instagram marketing. And the way that we do this is um, I record a video that we share on YouTube as well, but our blog is where we share our content and every blog day I'm in charge of being front facing amplifier. So I amplify, I promote and I broadcast on all of social. Rachel on my team queues up all of the tweets um, and social sprout. We send out an email to our email list. So everyone on our email list gets it first before we share it on social. We share it to our email list and there's Mm -hmm. a reason. Okay. It's because those people already know me, like me, and are on my list. And those people are like Allison and and who else did you say was here? I've got like there's Rebecca, Sue, oh, Stacy. Oh, Rebecca. Oh, yeah, Sue Monheit. Hello, Rebecca. Hello. Yeah, Brenda Tate. Everyone that's on right now knows me, and they're on my list. So we share it with our list because they're more likely to leave a comment on the blog, and they're more likely to share it on social because they know me. And they're like, dang it, that girl is working her ass off. I'm going to share. Brilliant. Brilliant. So you you basically, you share your blog post to the audience that you know that is actually going to take action. Right. Share I'll, it. Leave, right. a, leave a comment. Because before you want to share it on social, you, you basically want to have that built-in social proof. Exactly. Because mm. people, people like to leave comments when they, they like to jump into a conversation. They don't want to be the first comment. And, you know, hats off to Allison and Sue Monheit. And, uh, you know, Stacy Lynn and, and Brenda, who's um, Aracila, who's all here, they always leave comments for me. So leaving comments to me is like gold. And that is like, I appreciate that. And I and I respond to all those co- comments. So I'd rather get the comments on my blog. And obviously, I get a ton over on YouTube, but I can't keep up with YouTube. And a lot of people on YouTube are mean. <laughs> they, that's they, the they, truth like, though that's the yeah, truth people they're young kids you know they're young kids with zero patience and they're like who are you how old are you what are you doing um <laughs> so i just i don't pay a lot of time i i the nice comments i definitely engage with mm-hmm. but here's the thing after the blog has been released to our email list for two hours i then post on instagram and we create a custom bitly link that we can track on both at Subi Zimmerman and at the Instagram expert. And so we have tracking links. So we know our clicks, we know our conversions. We look at our data and I drive traffic to the blog post. So if you look right now during this live recording, all of the blog posts, I mean, all of the content is going to how to use Instagram. If you're a service based business. Mm -hmm. So that's my bitly link, the content in my Instagram feed, talks about that. And then when I did my Instagram live, I talked about that content, but I didn't give the whole blog post away. I talked about three ways to have success if you're a service-based business on Instagram, and I'm not gonna go over those now, you have to read the blog. Seriously. And leave me a comment. But then what I said on the live was, if you wanna see my case studies that I showed as examples in the blog post, go read the blog post. Here's where the brilliance comes in. Morgan on my team, she's my Facebook ads and Instagram ad gal. She Mm -hmm. can retarget anybody that lands on our blog. Yes, thank you, thank you. So we're all about retargeting retargeting our visitors and hopefully our visitors take action and they grab our free strategy guide, which is our lead magnet, subizimmerman.com slash guide 17 for the audience listening where Mm -hmm. you get a free 20 page download of how to get going on Instagram. So if you're gonna create a freemium, an opt-in, a lead magnet, it has to be so darn good that someone can't resist not getting it. 
And so we spent a lot of time creating that lead magnet. And more importantly, Stephanie, after you've downloaded it, we have our automation email sequence welcoming you into my community. And the first email, I think, is a lot about me personally so that you can get to know me better and then I find out more about you. So yeah. it's not all about let's sell our courses now. I teach Instagram. Yes. No. I would much rather grow an incredible audience like I have here on your live broadcast with all my people. Gabriel's here. Okay, yeah. so Gabe, Gabriel was at Social Media Marketing World. He's so handsome. He's got, he has like the best. Gabriel, drop your link to your Instagram I know, account. I know. He, like his, his Instagram and his fashion sense. Drop I was it like, like boy. It's hot. Gabriel, drop it like it's hot. He, he is like the guy on Instagram that gets it. Um, and Gabriel was actually going to come to my live workshop here in Boston, but he couldn't make it this time. He's going to come another time. He's amazing. He saw me outside <laughs> doing Instagram stories, testimonials, and we hung out for a while. So yeah. everyone here needs to go. All the ladies in the house, check out Gabriel. You'll be like, you know, he teaches tennis and he has another business and he has a, a young little baby and he's hustling hard. So go, oh, go he get does, him. He does social media too. Cause I remember checking out his website after, you know, yeah. bumping into him yeah. on the social media marketing world. Yeah. So it's Instagram.com slash at or Gabo dot style. Right. Yeah. Drop, drop the live link, like copy and paste the URL. So anyone can just click. Here's another thing I'm going to teach everybody listening right now. This is a business tip. If you're going to, want someone to take action, you need to make it really easy. You need to grab the live link. Don't just write the Instagram account name. Go get the live link, copy and paste it. Gabriel, I'll do that right now. She's talking to you. <laughs> and that way, anyone listening to this broadcast, and Stephanie said she gets up to 3,000 viewers, Gabriel, get the link in the friggin' comments. Mm-hmm. Make it easy, and this is for everyone listening. When you when you do an ask, like it's called, Rachel on my team calls it ask equity. When you ask somebody to do something for you, if they have to go find your friggin' link to promote your book or your podcast or your website, no one's doing that shit. They don't have oh, time for it. Yeah, nobody's got time for that. Yeah, even you when I- You link. Yeah, even when I do, like when I was promoting this, I have what's called like, you know, you know the click to tweet. So just yeah. like, if you want to share this, share this. But if you want to tweet it, click the tweet, and then it already has yeah, your yeah. has your handle, the hashtags, the link. We're good to go. Stephanie's wicked smart. Mm -hmm. There you go. Gabriel finally dropped it in there. Boom. Yay. Check him out, ladies. <laughs> Check it out. He's awesome. He's got it going on. Yeah. All right. Okay. So Instagram Live, it's not something that you do as often as before, but Instagram right. Stories is definitely your jam. It's my jam, Jay Lee, and I, so I'm doing less, Stephanie, I'm posting less in the feed because my, my posts are getting more reach. So my actual Instagram posts are getting more engagement because I'm, you know, Instagram, it's the algorithm. I'm posting really good content where I'm sharing something really juicy that people comment on, double tap and like, and when you comment, double tap and like, then your, your post gets more reach. So I'm gonna do a call to action for everyone on the live right now. And if you're watching on the replay, you can play too. Um, so Stephanie, what is your hashtag? My hashtag? Oh God, um, lights, camera, live. It's long. Oh, that's long. Can't we just do hey Stephanie? Hey Stephanie, we could do that too. Hey. Hey, hey Stephanie, drop your hashtag hey Stephanie in the comments. And I want everyone who's with us live to go to my last post, which is a quote, Stephanie, did you see it? It's a good one. Mm -hmm. It's a quote, I found this yesterday when I was at. Which one do you want um, me to go to? Cause I could actually pull it up on the screen. Oh good, the Instagram expert. Go to the Instagram expert. And go to my quote. Boom. Okay, my quote, which is, you have to believe in yourself and that's the secret. Thank you, Charlie Chapin. I got that I got that matchbook at Paper Source and I loved it. I got it yesterday. You're or like always at Paper Source. <laughs> I know because it's right down the street on Boylston Street and it's my daughter's birthday today and I needed to buy some fun things. And by the way, Paper Source is the best place to buy tchotchkes. Good ones. Do you know that I just bought this? Let me show you guys. Okay, I'm not doing an ad for Paper Source, but this is a little USB that plugs into my computer with multiple USBs. Oh, how funny, I just got, we switched your camera to something else now. 
<clears throat> it is looks it like, good? Oh, it's a good, yeah, but it changed. Oh I, oh, I just unplugged it. Oh, is that better? <laughs> that works too. Here, let me fix you because I have you. I have Wait, you let me prop. go back. I'll go back to settings. Oh, I just okay. unplugged it. Plugged it. Let me go back to settings. I'll do this. I'll fix it. I, I got it. I got this. I got this. See, fine. this is live, you guys. And there are a couple of fumbles, but we're still rolling with it. And like nothing, when you do a live video, whether it's on Instagram stories or even on Facebook live, it doesn't always have to be perfect. Just roll with the punches. You still deliver your content. You still have that personality and people will still tune in. I'm looking at the comments. We were already at about like 48 comments. We is that about, oh yeah, oh yeah. And the shares are like bananas. If I refresh <laughs> this right now, it's gonna be crazy. But yeah, if, if anyone else is here, by all means, go ahead and share, yeah. ask a question. Okay, so let me let me finish with my ask, my ask. Hold on, Stephanie, I'm gonna give you the golden hashtag. Yep. So, on my post where you see that quote, you have to believe in yourself and that's the secret. I want you guys to use the hashtag, hey Stephanie. Stephanie, this totally should be your hashtag. <laughs> and it's cute, I like it. And that's hey, way- All right, cool, done. If, if, Steph- Sue, if Grandmaster Sue says your hashtag needs to be this, Hey, yes. Stephanie, it's so done. cool. Done and hey, done. Ste- hashtag, hey, Stephanie, put that on my post, and here's why. Because that's how I know everyone watching this broadcast on live or on the replay is now going to drop your hashtag on my Insta feed, and I will know that they came over from your broadcast. And that's how I know who my audience is, and I do this every time I get interviewed on a podcast. Oh, that's so interesting. So you're you're basically seeing how you're migrating your audience from one yeah, platform to the other. To another. And mm. people use, people usually hold on. <laughs> I got all the props. People usually fly with me wherever I send them. Because <laughs> I'm so cute. Yeah, the busy bee. So yeah, I just you know it's it's the way it, it's it's me wanting to teach you to think about how you can do this for your business. So. If you're gonna spend all that time doing your Instagram and you get the opportunity to be on a podcast interview and they say at the end, is there anything you want me to, t- you, is there anything you wanna tell the listeners? I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> um, let's just start with download my guide, get on my, you know, download my free guide. And then I, I ask the, the interviewer if I can do a challenge and my challenge usually is like that. I say, you know, take a photo. In fact, you know, this would be actually fun step Everyone should take a photo where they're watching this interview. Maybe people are on their mobile. Maybe they're walking. Maybe they're working out. Maybe they're off to dinner. Take yeah. a photo and drop it in the thread so we can see you guys watching us. That's hilarious. That's that's so meta. That's meta, just like, meta. wait a second. <laughs> okay, so I have you, I think, on your second camera, if that's okay uh, with you. I fixed you a little bit, so I moved yeah. you a little bit. Um, am, I, look, am I looking good? You're looking, yeah, whatever you're looking at, you're, you're always looking good. Don't worry about that, Mom. <laughs> okay, great. All right, so if you're just tuning in, it's Subi Zimmerman. We're talking about Instagram and how to use Instagram for your business. She just shared this really amazing tracking technique on how to see how your audience from one from one guest, like live live podcast, live streaming, how you can move them from one platform to the other by giving away like a secret keyword. Or in this case, the hashtag is Hey Stephanie. Thank you for that. High five, girl. Mm. I know. Oh, you mm. got to order a sign. Of what, I know. Where, sign. where are you ordering your signs? Hello, my website, bottom right. Okay. Okay. Done and done. Click, click, done. Um, yeah. So definitely, again, take a look at her Instagram page. Click on that first image, the Charlie Chap- Chaplin quote. And... Type in the hashtag, hey, Stephanie, and then go from there. So, you know what, Sue? I actually have a question for you from one of our viewers, and it's from Lauren. And Lauren is asking, Sue, do you have any tips for launching a new you, a new YouTube channel on Instagram? Oh, I like this question. And I have a lot of friends that are YouTubers that promote their intro on Instagram. So, and I've done it as well. So my good friend Steve Dotto at Dotto Tech does like a minute tip. Um, at Steph, maybe you can grab that at Dotto Tech on Instagram. Okay. He does a good job with it. And um, how do you I, spell that? D A D O T T O T E C H. And then T T O T E C H. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, and and you must know Sunny Leonard Newsy. She's awesome. Hashtag Insta awesome. Love her. 
Um, we worked together a year ago, and I love seeing her grow like crazy. She has, I don't know, million, mil, I don't know, over a million views on her YouTube channel. But what Sunny does, which is brilliant, is she does the beginning trailer on Instagram. You have up to a minute to do your trailer. So share that to drive traffic back to YouTube. One of the things that I do is on my personal account, I will do the intro clip of my YouTube video on Instagram to drive traffic to that YouTube video. So if YouTube is your jam and that's where you're trying to grow your content and that's what you want to get known as, you can absolutely use Instagram as your lead funnel for that. Love it. Love it. That's awesome. Okay, great. So Lauren, you just got some amazing one-on-one -on -one advice from Sue and that's that's the huge benefit of being on jumping on Facebook lives. That's amazing. <coughs> See, the one thing that I love about Instagram stories, and I didn't have a chance to tell you about this over at Social Media Marketing World, was that when Instagram stories had first started, I would jump on it and I would do it. And the crazy thing is that all of a sudden, my email list subscribers went up, like it went through the roof. And the reason for that was because as people started watching my Instagram stories, they would click on my Instagram profile and then they would click on that actual link and that link led to my lead magnet. And I was and to, to what you had talked about earlier about having that tracking URL, I was like, holy smokes, I was able to go ahead and grab an entirely new audience just using Instagram stories. So for you guys, definitely take a let's, stab at that. Yeah, let's break this down a little bit more, Stephanie, because people really need to understand that 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 it that it's real stuff. Um, so you you Okay, let's start with you committed to the platform. So number one is to actually have an Instagram mindset, okay? And in order to do that, you need to commit to doing it well. And in order to do it well, you have to do it and shut down all the other shit in your life. So if you're here with intention and you want to get results, you need to show up to the party and do a good job. The fact that Stephanie has seen an increase in email subscribers is positive reinforcement to wanting to do it again and again and again because mm -hmm. like she said in the Instagram story and often Steph one of the things I do is I would say and I would look up this is a tip you guys when I'm in my story doing a video I'm like I would look up to my avatar and I'd be like click into my avatar and I mm. pause and then I'd look at the camera and I'd say then click the link in my bio you literally need to talk to people like they're 10 years old so <laughs> So you've got, like, if you look up to the left corner, that is where the avatar is in your Instagram story. So don't yeah. just say, don't just say click the link in my, don't just say just click the avatar. I'm like, what avatar? Where, where, what are you talking about? Yeah, like, you gotta, what? You gotta look up. <clears throat> I love that. I love, I love the fact that you have to tell people exactly what it is that you want to do. And you Always. need to have your desired outcome or your intention for what you want them to do. And by adding the gesture of saying, you know, click here or do that because you never know if, if you say avatar, they're like, wait, the movie avatar, like, what are you talking about? Not everyone's going to have the same language. So awesome advice there. Yeah. So let me just, let me just take it one step further. So I just added, I just added a clip to my Instagram stories on the Instagram experts. So Steph, if you watched my story so far today, you'll now see a new, a rainbow around me because I added a new clip. So what the goal is in some, in my mind is to get my followers to say, shit, Sue has a rainbow and I haven't seen that clip. I'm going to clip in. <laughs> I want you to have this fear of missing out. So you want to click into the rainbow ring. And when you've watched the whole story up to that point, Instagram then shows you the new uh, rainbow ring and that's when it has the new clip. So I just added a clip of us doing an Instagram story and I want you guys to look at it because one of the things that I do when I'm live is I use the highlighter and the highlighter just feels like it's live. So I just, you know, I, I wrote that we're live now on Facebook. I use the blue because it's Facebook. Yeah, I thought about that. <laughs> and then I added the streaks with the highlighter so that you guys knew like we are a little, what I should have done is put the timestamp. So I should have, so I should have put the, the time of day so people know that we're literally live now, but I'm using this as a teaching lesson. That's really cool. That's awesome. So Sue, have you also, what are your thoughts on, um, link tree, link, link 
linktr.ee. Yep. Have you heard about I, that? Yeah, Linktree, and there's always there's also Gallery Metrics, and later Media has a third party app where you can click that link. I think it's really good if you sell products like anthropology uses like to know it. So if every post that you make on Instagram is a stylized product shot and you say click the link in my bio and now it's a new photo and they don't know where to go, it makes sense to go to a third party app which essentially opens up a web page where you can see all the items and click on the one that you want to buy. Um, I do quite a bit of shopping off of Instagram. Well, not quite a bit, but I bought a couple things. And I bought a $100 pair of shoes when I saw Allbirds yeah, like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> and I just like clicked in and it took me right to where I wanted to purchase. So it's good if you sell products, Steph. I don't think, for me, I tried gallery metrics and we did not get as many opt-ins that week because mm. I, don't, I think people have to click twice. And oh. it, as it, you do, you have to click one link and then you have to click another link and you have to find that post and then click the link. So I don't like that there's two steps. I want to keep it really easy. And my followers are conditioned to click the link and go exactly where I say they're going to go. Yes. That's awesome. <clears throat> and I love the fact love that you're, you're saying things like you have to condition your audience. You have to make them aware of what your habits are, like what the flow is, things of that sort. Um, because a lot of people just, a lot of people when they're communicating to others, they, they make an assumption that they, that the other person knows exactly what you're talking about. Right. And so you make a fantastic point of break it down, make it very easy to understand. So keep it simple, right? Keep, keep it, it simple. simple. Yeah. And you know, I think Linktree is great as well, but if you have so many exit points of what it is that you want them to do, it might be better for you just to focus on one thing because the first time I went on Instagram stories, I just had one lead magnet, not five, not 10, just right. one. So if you wanted to get to know me, you could have just gone there, right? Right. That's great. So you're doing it all right. Um, you get points. Stephanie, hey, I hashtag, points. Hey, hey, hashtag, hey, Stephanie, she's got her <laughs> shit going on. It's all good. Um, are there any other questions? Because I love answering live questions and rewarding people that are here live. Seriously. Okay. If you guys have any questions, there's generally going to be like a, mm, like a, a little thirty second time. delay. Yeah. Yeah. So, no problem. I'm gonna go look at. I'm gonna go look and see who my action takers are on my post right now. So Rebecca Fox is here. Brenda Tate is here. Stacy Lynn. Oh, thanks for nice. Out. Okay, I'm giving shout outs to the people that did it. Um, our um, Aracela did it. Aracela Snow, Soul Vision Healing, Rebecca. Victor, hey, hey, Stephanie. Everyone's saying, hey, Stephanie. Hey, um, hey. oh Stacey my goodness. Stacy Lynn. <laughs> um, everyone's going to be like, um, so page sitter online, I don't, oh, I don't even know what your name is. So that's a problem on Instagram when your username is something I don't know and I don't know your name, so I can't even give you a shout out. And maybe is it in another language? Oh, it's in another language. So maybe your name is there and I just don't know it. Um, but thanks for being here. I love that we have a global audience. What country are you from? Um, and then we also have Becca. Becca um, is in the house. And Becca yeah. has a nice, is she your friend? She's got a nice looking account. Yeah, Becca. Becca's great. Um, <laughs> Becca sorry. has it going on. Yeah, Gabe is going off to the tennis court, but Stacy has a question for you, Sue. And her question is, how often to mention freebies and stories? That's a great it, question. It you is don't a great want to question. Off. Yeah, so I you can you can mention your freebie without talking about your freebie. So Stacy, for you, you know, showing your yummy recipe for your delicious, I don't know, let's say avocado scrambled eggs. If you do oh, you don't do eggs because you're plant-based, whatever you do. You do what my daughter does. So you're showing me your sweet potatoes and your quinoa and your salad. And you can say something. If you enjoyed watching this um, recipe, I have a link in my bio on Instagram if you're, in, if you're interested. Like, not say go get it or download it or do this, but qualify them. And that's even better. So if you are someone who is interested in plant-based food and eating healthier, especially as you get older, especially if you're 40 and older, because I know what Stacey's demographic is, I've got this download that I created just for you. And if you want it, 
it's in it's in my bio. The link's in my bio. And Stephanie, I almost feel like that's better for you to do on video. Mm -hmm. um, so instead of just like writing those words, because video is so much, there's so much more of an emotional pull with video. And um, Stacy, you're good on video because you've got a YouTube channel. And and by the way, Stacy, why don't you drop your link so that anyone can see what I'm talking about? Because Stacy is hashtag Insta awesome. Awesome, great. Um, Sue, so there's another question from Sander. And Sander, I believe he has a daughter who's this really, really talented gymnast. And so he's okay. saying, well, how do you build an audience for non-businesses such as, you know, such as his daughter who does amazing things on Instagram showing off her talent? What, how do you use um, Instagram for personal brand building? Awesome. So I will talk about my daughter, but before I do, you definitely want to click the link in my bio and read that blog post about being a service-based business. And make sure you leave me a comment on the blog post so that I know that you were there. Now, my daughter, like your daughter, got on Instagram, and at first it was just for to be on Instagram, and then she had a passion, which was eating healthy and becoming vegan. And with that came her lifestyle around being vegan. And Lila was also a gymnast. She used to do gymnastics when she was little, and she was so good. Like, I loved watching her. Um, and you can see it in, in her in her athleticism when she shares her yoga poses and everything on Instagram. So Lila just simply created a following based on the content that she's sharing. So as long as your daughter is talking about Jim, you know, be, you have to be so focused and disciplined and often you miss out on parties and birthday parties because you have a meet and it's all day and you have to drive five hours to get there and you got to eat really healthy and you got to pack your snacks. And if she talks about life as a gymnast, that could be really interesting, especially to other gymnasts her age or the mothers of gymnasts. So you mm -hmm. need to qualify. You need to qualify. Who do you want to be talking to? Well, the gymnasts don't really have money, but the mothers, if you teach the mothers, things that they need to know to help set their daughters up for success as a gymnast, that could be a really cool thing. Maybe you have, like my daughter did, like a lot of leotards that cost a hundred plus dollars and you want to start selling them because they don't fit you anymore. You can have wear that leotard and say, you're selling it. I mean, there's ways that you can make money. So what Lila did was she ended up creating an ebook all about her recipes. It was a $9.99 download. And she is fresh, fit, and fearless on Instagram. And I don't think her download's there, but you can certainly find it on her blog. It's $10. Lila has made thousands and thousands of dollars from a $10 ebook. Wow. So your daughter just might have tips for a mom that you could create in an ebook. And that's where she started. And now she's in New Zealand, uh, semester abroad, Sydney. She's an influencer, businesses and brands payer. They give her free stuff all the time to post on Instagram. Lila's doing A-OK -okay as a 21-year-old. So she has a future is my, is my, is my point. <laughs> That's awesome. That's amazing advice. And so I don't know if you saw it, but I, I was sharing on the desktop. Or ah. if you look at it, you can see Pearl and Jasmine. So it looks like Sanders, both of his daughters. San Diego Rhythmic Squad. Um, cool. And they're just their costumes are amazing. It's beautiful. And I yeah. think that's amazing advice that you gave him in terms of building the audience. Also, you know, because you know moms are going to be hanging out on Instagram trying to see, like, who the competition is or other moms that they could connect with. So, Sander, take that into consideration about building building this, yeah. um, this page right here. Yeah, those gymnastics moms, they can be a crazy bunch. <laughs> Great. Well, awesome. Well, you've given us a, a ton of amazing tips. It's about 3.58 my time right now. It's, yes. it's almost the, it's your evening. Yes. So if we have one last question, would that be yeah, okay? One, one last question sounds good. Okay, wonderful. And so while we're waiting for that last question, you guys don't be shy. If you're thinking, mm, maybe I shouldn't, stop it. Just go ask it right now, okay? And then Sue, all of the links, if you want to type it in, or I'll yep. just go ahead and go back and edit all of this great stuff. <coughs> Let me go and see what else we have here. So Sandra says thank you. Mm. Stacy says thank you as well. Looks like she's going to be heading out. Um, all right. It doesn't look like we have any other questions. All right. Do you have a question? Hey, Stephanie. Hey, you. I think someone's coming back to San Diego. Yeah, right? I am. We should totally hang. I'm going to be speaking at Social Media Camp 
um, June 30th, and I'm doing a workshop. You should come to my workshop. I would for love sure. to. Yeah, Tyler will hook you up with uh, all that information. So I'm going to be on stage as one of the speakers at Social Media Day in sunny San Diego. So if any of you live there, I always like to get uh, together with people in person. It's my thing. And, um, yeah, I'm excited. All right. Well, awesome. I'm going to go ahead and play the outro music. And thank you so much, Subi Zimmerman, for your knowledge. I'm so happy that I found you. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know what the joke is, I've been trying to hunt her down for like the past 24 hours. I could not get a hold of her. So I had, I was busy. To, I had to watch her Instagram stories and blow her up. But I found her. She, she, she she, wait, 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 wait. The lesson here is she sent me an Instagram direct message and I responded right away. If yes. you want to get if you want to get my attention, send me an Instagram direct message. I was doing videos all day. Or leave a comment on her blog post. Mm, right? Right. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Sue, you're the best. Catch you later. Bye-bye.